Death is like the wind, always by my side. What's up guys, so today's video is going to be about the Yasuo, long-awaited Yasuo to Diamond in 3 hours guide. So we already made one for Yon, which if you haven't seen it, it's on the main channel, so go check that out if you want to learn Yon. But yeah, this one's going to be about Yasuo. All the items are the same, but they're slightly different, so I'm going to explain it for Yasuo too. So D-Shield is way more common on Yon. This is not really ever going to be used on Yasuo. I mean, you could use it against like really hard matchups like Vex, I guess, but I don't really like it. So I would say like never take D-Shield, honestly, because like Yasuo is a champion where you want to play super aggressive early game. So I would always recommend D-Blade. And if you're getting poked out too much, you're probably just playing the matchup wrong and not utilizing your passive enough. So I would never go D-Shield. If you really struggle with the matchup, then fine. You can do it, but I just feel like this champ without D-Blade going for level 3 all-ins feels really bad. So yeah, always go D-Blade, in my opinion, and obviously one potion. <clears throat> Yasuo like Yon, Berserker Greaves, pretty self-explanatory, just the biggest spike since they've been released. Um, Zeal, a lot more popular on Yasuo than Yon. You don't have to do this on Yon, way more important on Yasuo. The movement speed, very, very important just because... Um, He's not like Yon, where Yon has like the E movement speed and like way more dashes can get out a lot more. So the movement speed is going to be very helpful. <clears throat> getting away from ganks, uh, roaming, not getting kited. So yeah, for Yasuo, I would almost always go Zeal, in my opinion. Unless you're against like an assassin, you want to get shield bow like really fast. But yeah, way more important. <clears throat> way, way, way more important. And obviously, if you have Nanji Gold, Vamp Scepter, if you're in a pokey lane. But again, like this is usually better for Yon, just because Yon wants to scale, and like just getting Vamp Scepter to scale, like the Poke Mage is good. Also, if you just go Vamp Scepter, your all in's like pretty poor, so I would prioritize getting either Zeal or Noon Quiver before you get Vamp Scepter. And then Cloth Armor Mental again is just, um, if you're against the Zed, if you're against a Kiana, getting one Cloth Armor is really good, so you don't get one shot. If you're against an Annie, getting one Mantle, she can't fold a zero combo you. Which is all you need. Like, people don't understand that how one item can just like flip a matchup. It's like, oh, I mean, it's Annie. Um, she completely one shot me, right? Lane's over. But if you go on her full HP and you have a mantle, she uses the whole combo, you still have like 25% health and she has no spells left. And then you can kill her, you know? So this could like make or break a matchup. So definitely build defensive against lanes where they just one shot you. Very important. And right, first item, Shieldbo Bork. For Yasuo, I would, like, almost always go Shield Bow. Borg is a lot better on Yon, just because, like, he's more of an assassin. It's like, oh, I go in with my E on Yon, um, get the third Q, get my combo, and then E back, right? But Yasuo is, like, more AoE, more, like, switching targets all the time. So, I think it's, like, almost always Shield Bow, unless they're, like, really tanky. It's like, oh, I'm against an Udyr set mid. Yeah, don't go Shield Bow, you're trolling. Because, like, you're not going to do any damage, so... In rare scenarios where they just have so many bruisers, Bork Rush is really good. Because if you have Lethal Tempo plus Shield Bow against a lot of tanks or bruisers, you're not going to do any damage. So, <clears throat> yeah. It clears that up. Usually Shield Bow, though, for, like, AoE damage in teamfights. Especially if you have knockups like Diana. And the core, Death Stance IE. Obviously just the most important items. I don't really like Shield Bow Death Stance on Yasuo, like, first two items. I feel like you lack a lot of damage. I would almost always go IE second. Um, yeah, and then Dust Dance. So Shield Bow, IE, then Dust Dance. Almost like 99% of the time on Yasuo. If you're not going Bork. And final, final armor items, Randuins. Randuins is good if they have a, a lot of auto attackers. Like, example being Trinomir Top, Kindred Jungle, and then AD Carry. Randuins, very good. Very good. Uh, but GA is just usually the most common choice after Dust Dance for armor items. Just because... Um, a lot of damage gives you more damage gives you um you can ult in and not be scared because you revive so just a solid item and for mr <clears throat> this one we go over first self-explanatory if they have a malzahar uh skarner you want qss it, well actually you actually want to build the other qss item i actually messed up on the main god yeah you don't want to build scimitar you want to build um silver mirror dawn that one's a lot better just because it's less damage, but you don't need more damage. So, like, it, this is the more damage option, but... Hold up. Yeah, this one. <clears throat> Just the, because the passive is a lot better. 
This one just gives you Moonsuit for one second. One second. And this one, you use it, and you gain 40% tenacity and 40% slow resistance for three seconds. Like, that's huge. This is way better for Yasuryon. So, I actually messed that up on the own guide, but it's okay. <clears throat> and then Wits End, if you want more damage. I think Wits End's a lot better on Yasu than Yon, just because Yon has a lot more damage in his kit, so he can get away with going um, full-on tank items. Yasu really doesn't. So Wits End's a solid anti-AP item you want to build. Let's say you're against an Annie, you build Early Mantle. After you get your Shilbo IE, then you can build Wits End 3rd. Well, only if they have like a lot of AP though, because usually Death Dance is just like more all-around options. Yeah, if they have like 3 AP, get Wits End 2nd or 3rd. Probably 3rd though. IE is just too important. <clears throat> um, if they have a Kite Heavy Comp, Force Nature is really good on Yasu, because Yasu is very... Kites can get kited very easily. A lot of people don't think of like, oh, he has so many dashes, but it's like, yeah, if you have a minion wave. If you don't have a minion wave, you're just gonna get kited, so this is really good for that. And Visage is just shielding, healing, pair it well with Dust Dance, Shield Bow, and Bloodthirsty later on, so. Also, this item is a lot better if they have like only 1 2 AP, because the healing and shielding is gonna help against 80 targets too, whereas these two items only help against AP. So, keep that in mind. And then finishing Zeal, you don't want to finish. This is a common thing that I see. A lot of Yasus, like, oh, I went Zeal second or early. So I have to finish the Zeal item, second item. It's like, no, don't go Shield Bow into Mortal. If you go Shield Bow into Mortal Reminder, you are doing no damage, man. Like, literally no damage. I only do it in, into, in Korea. Not oh, good, man. Don't do it. Every time I see it, I just cringe. Um, don't finish this, the Zeal item until you get Shield Bow, i.e., and Dust Dance. Like, these three items, then you can finish your Zeal item. Okay? <clears throat> Good rule of thumb, in my opinion. Unless it's like a fight that's about to break out that ends the game, and you have enough to buy it, just buy it then. But that's obvious, right? So yeah, if they have um, a lot of healing, mortal, they don't have any healing, then finish it into PD. The movement speed's a lot better. Uh, yeah. I put Lord Doms here. I don't think it's ever good. Maybe like if they have a Ramus Malphite, but if you're picking Yasu into Ramus Malphite, you probably lost the game anyway. But uh, yeah, Yasu's passive. Ult passive, reds 50% bonus armor pen, so you probably don't need even more armor pen. I would not recommend this item. And then Bloodthirster, a solid 4th or 5th item. Just because it gives a lot of healing, but um, it is not good enough to bypass IE and Death Dance. So Shilbo, IE, Death Dance, then think about getting Bloodthirster. Just a solid all-around item. And uh, lastly, the potions. This one, if you want more damage and lifesteal, they have no CC. And this one, if they have CC, because of the tenacity. And uh, yeah, that goes uh, all the items. And I want to go over runes again real fast. Got the Seraphine background. We've been spamming Seraphine a little bit. No judge. Um, runes. Okay. Always lethal tempo. I thought Conqueror would be good, but... Nah, like maybe in lower elos it's good because it's more scaling, but I think Lethal Tempo is too good for early game. And for this, Triumph always. Especially in lower elos because there's a lot of kills, more golds, a lot of clutch moments with it. Always Alacrity. These two, they may feel good. It's like, oh, they have a lot of CC. I'm going to go Alac. I'm going to go Tenacity. But, dude, Yasuo without Alacrity early just feels so clunky, man. Like, yeah, you have Tempo, but. Nah, I would always take Alacrity. It's too good. Too good to pass up. And for these ones, always go last stand, just the most um, consistent, in my opinion. Pairs really well with Shilbo. And then for runes, always resolve. Personally, never go these ones. And for me, I always go conditioning overgrowth. Yon is a little bit different and likes these. You can use like all six of these. But for Yasuo, it's like bone pudding is useless. Bone pudding is useless because they proc it when they proc your shield. I have no idea. Why they use bone plating in Korea? I don't get it. Because every single time I versus a Yasu is bone plating. I proc a shield and then I get bone plating with it. So it's like it didn't even do anything. So never take bone plating. Think, think it's ass. Second wind, not really good for Yasuo. I mean, maybe. But your landing phase is really strong. So I don't think you need this. So I'll just go with the scaling option. Go conditioning, overgrowth, and maybe tenacity if they have a lot of CC. Let's say you're going to say Ramus. A Ramus plus. What's the CC that you can't dodge? Um, Ramus Leona. Then conditioning unflinching is good. I don't like un, uh, revitalize personally. I like the health. So, they have a lot of CC, unflinching. 
They don't have a lot of CC, overgrowth. And for these, always attack speed, obviously always AD. And if they have double AD mid jungle armor, they have double AP mid jungle, this, and if they have a split, I think health is the way to go because it outscales the other two at level five. Or if you're in a matchup where like, you think the first three levels, or three to four levels so is gonna like impact the game really hard or the lane. I think you just take armor. Like let's say you're against a Renekton, then probably taking the armor is completely fine. So it doesn't like one shot you level three. But uh yeah, that's all there is to it. And the rest of the video is just gonna be very educational gameplays. And uh yeah, hope you guys enjoy. I would say the biggest thing that people do against Zed that's incorrect is that they um force a little too hard. You don't actually need to force that hard against Zed. Because killing this champion is like really hard. I will not forget who I am. I'll show you what I mean in lane. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna take conditioning overgrowth because I take that like every game on Yasuo. Um, and we're probably gonna sit on a cloth armor early on, just to block his engage. You can go exhaust in this matchup, but I like going ignite. On Yon, I take exhaust. On Yasuo, I take ignite. More aggressive playstyle, but exhaust is good. It's good to counter his ulti. Love you. What's up? Just farm and let him force you? Um, kind of, basically. And just like use your prior to your advantage, because you get prior in this Justice. lane. That's a pretty word. Like basically I'm just gonna try to cheat a recall on him, which is uh, pushing through waves. And um, back for like an early cloth armor. <clears throat> if this was like a Zed Fiddlesticks, I would not go in early Cloth Armor, but since it's double AD, it's really good to just sit on Cloth. If you sit on Cloth, then um, they never kill you, so it's really good. Yeah, Zed is definitely an annoying champion. Definitely it can be a bit tricky. Try to dodge his Qs when you can, while like last sitting. Virtue is no more than a luxury. Fine if the Qs hit my shields. You should try to dodge so you have your shield up, but yeah. It's uh, definitely a hard champion to like um try to kill in lane. But I really don't try too hard to kill him. I try to scale up and farm. Never could definitely like top five hardest champions to kill in mid lane. <laughs> Like Zed and LeBlanc are really similar on like just being impossible to kill. Yeah, we're just slow pushing this wave, and the last wave we're gonna or third wave we're gonna hard push. This is my shield look kinda sucks. Doesn't matter though, we're backing after this wave. And now we hard push this wave. Take a trade with oh. What the hell is this? Well, turns out they have a Jarvan. Uh I can't go in now. This is kind of hard. That's not terrible. You win that, you win that, you win that. I have to go back in. Help my jungler there. Oh, he kills him. He has E. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, he fucked up. He's actually dead here, I think. Yeah, my jungler trolled me really hard. <laughs> he just like went in when I was completely out already. Um, yeah, it's not ideal. Ideally, I had like a perfect 3 way cra crash, but I didn't... I should have known that Jarvan was gonna level 2 gank. It's so... I hate getting level 2 ganked, man. It just ruins the game plan so hard. Uh, we got our cloth armor at least, but yeah, not ideal, and we didn't get the kill. Kinda blows. Yeah, we had a perfect uh, cheater recall there, but... Very unfortunate. Level 2 ganks are very cheesy. I always kind of forget about them because, like, in this meta, people don't really do that. Anymore. Like, it's kind of like. It's a lot better to full clear. But yeah, I guess I should have just warded earlier. I also did not expect him to come from that angle. Like, if anything, I thought he would, like, level 2 gank from the red buff. Really weird. They're kind of a whole level down now. Close. The sword. Oh, we, just we just go with Cloth Armor and we just farm it out. Oh, 
It's a really good trade. If he walks back up. That has to be worried or something. You know, somehow knows Zack is there. That has to be worded. Yeah, I knew he didn't have W there, so I'm just like fighting him to the death. Because if he doesn't have W, I'm heard. I'm gonna go boots and dagger here and try to get to the lane before he pushes it in. Probably can't, but yeah, it's a good time to recall though. Yeah, going even against Zed is really good, especially with conditioning overgrowth. You just outscale him eventually. With conditioning plus a cloth armor, he can, he can never kill you. So don't feel bad about going even in this lane. You're basically just planning to not get snowballed on and just like, yeah. This blade never gets any lighter. We would be in a way better position if I didn't get level 2 ganks. But we all see how this game is, so. Low key, we just back again. There's no reason not to. There's nothing on the map to do. And uh, yeah, we just hard push the wave. Good to just get a um, long sword here. More items, the better. God, Zed outscales Yasuo? Not really. Like, in split push, yes. He'll win in split, but in team fights, no. Ooh, Zed's gonna come. They need to not, like, long fight this. This is really bad. That's gonna kill everyone here, by the way. Bam. Maybe I can clean it up? Oh, this is so bad for us, man. Nah, please tell me he dies here. Nice. Okay, that's not terrible. Um, I got a lot off it, my team kind of got fucked over it, but it's whatever. Like, in that example, I followed the room because I knew, like, it was going to be a long fight, right? It was under tower, too, so they were going to, like, commit to the dive. So if I just push mid there, no one dies there. So it was a good that I followed that. Yeah, but that is 3 and 2. Ugh. Kind of gross, but whatever. At least we got two kills back. We're not really that far behind. Our berserkers. This guy should freeze the lane, but I think he's. I think I lose this whole wave. We haven't shouldn't have pushed that wave. Okay, Zed's kind of like helping the wave now. We're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. I'm not really too scared. Isn't Zed pissed here? He's not pissed here. It's not like OP. He's fine though. I would definitely not call him pissed. Do I need to have a keybind on this account where I can like fucking ping? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just pushing this wave because I don't want him to roam. It is not yet time. Nice, it's huge. Two chain CC. Really good on my Zac to not use his W until like he saw that um my ult lands like that. Really good. I push this wave and then we're gonna back, get our new quiver. Early spot. Very 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 far ahead. I'm not gonna go for this plating because that's gonna be right here and he's gonna stop me back if I go for it. My back's gonna be really delayed. I'm gonna lose this plating here, but it's really fine. It's really awkward if I go for it. What's my um, tempo? Am I worried about them sniping? No. When do you go bow playing on Yasuo? Never. It's never good. I know they do it in Korea, but I mean, they build Borks on fire in Korea, so you know what? Don't be very good. Ooh, this dive is not very good. Zed's probably gonna get even more free kills. Oh boy. This is like st stuff that like we can't do or uh, do anything about. Um, I see that they're like fighting though, and I can't get there in time. The fight's already over, so I'm just gonna go straight for the red buff. I saw that it came up. I'm just gonna snag it real fast. Yeah, that 
the reason why mid lane can be kind of tilting is like a place like that where like my laner is three and three and he's gotten all of his kills from like bot lane it's really tilting like, there's nothing you can do about that they're just like over diving and inting you know you just gotta not get tilted by it and just like rug it off you know Kinda of scared of uh Jarvan here. Finish Dragon, so never could not scared of this. Hmm, okay. The road to ruin is shorter than you think. Completely fine with that. Let's get the cargo out to Huge. Is that ulted and ignited there too? The bolts. Oh, he's so mad. Nice. Look at that, Huge, huge. I was bidding that out because I knew I had Lulu and Lulu ult, so. And it was pretty impossible for me to die there. Also, I only lived that because I have cloth armor. And that is the power of one cloth armor, by the way. Oh, don't freeze the lane. Get out of here. It was broken. I mean, he's fine. Okay. No. Yon jungle is not broken. One step ahead. Like literally, every time you play Yon jungle, it's just yes. He had three winning lanes, so he got to free farm on Yon, and then he won't be nine because he got to free farm on Yon. It's like he probably did not do anything special because Yon jungle takes absolutely no skill at all, and it's really bad. I would never play Yon jungle. It's literally just you're never the reason you win a game if you play Yon jungle. You literally get carried or you lose your team the game by picking Yon jungle. At least in high elo. That shit's terrible. You just got a better team. Literally it. Oh, don't go for that guy. Brother. Also, I don't like how my, um... Thingy went for, um, under the tower like that. That's weird. What the hell? Oh, I just got Lulu ulted. This thing. I like how my team is playing around me though. That's really good. Yeah, this Zed is uh, pretty worthless now. Especially when my conditioning proc. Oh my god. He does no damage to me at all. You should just herald the tower. Use Herald. No point of waiting. We're fighting. Oh, I miss cannon. There's too many things going on. Nice. That's all right. I'm just gonna focus the target first, it's really squishy. No! Holy shit, that was really close. Triumph is kind of a kind of a lifesaver, a little bit. Huge. Not gonna go for that wave, it's too risky. So I could just like W ult on me. Let's die. Dude, Yasu is so much more fun than Yon. Way more fun. Um, yeah, we just have IE, a shield bow, and a cloth armor at 14 minutes. Link stream, yeah, after the, after the game, for sure.
Pop the daddy. Oh no. <clears throat> also, welcome to the stream, nurse. Yeah, game's a little bit over. Yeah, as you see, like, I'm not tilting at all when the enemy Zed has three kills. He got three kills off my bot lane, kind of like trolling, but I'm not tilting off it. It's like, who cares? You can't change it, so just focus on yourself. Like, those roams are like making him lose a lot of plating, and yeah, so it's really not that big of a deal, honestly. Yeah, this game should be pretty over as long as I do not mess up a single time. It's easy. Push mid wave and then we roam. Always push the wave before you roam. Always. God, I am so disgustingly fed right now. <laughs> We have no EQ. Nice. Because what pushing the mid lane does is mi it forces the enemy mid laner to like not be able to come. And if they come, they miss the whole wave. So always make sure to push it out first. Push wave, help your team, get their jungle, do all that. Always want to be doing something after every wave. Get their bot wave, now I'm gonna look for their top side. If the top side's down, maybe just kill Gwen. If I can't kill Gwen, he backs off. Yep, we get a free kill here. It's like I don't even care if I get the kill here, I'm just like going for the wave. I'm just like constantly trying to get gold. Like if you're every time you push a wave, you need to be like trying to get gold every second. Wait, low key this is gonna be like Oh I hit her. One step ahead of the pass. Bro, how do I like play this? No! Do I actually the flash? Dude. Fringe. Outclove diff. The champion like Yasuo, you literally can't kill anyone in the outclove like that. So hard. I'm gonna commit for the tower. Even if Jarvan and Zed are here, I probably can 2v1. Should be able to. Now that is how you want to be 9 games. You have to be generating gold constantly, non stop. And Yasuo and Yon? Are very good at that. Push the wave. I'll go for this guy. It's like I'm not even like looking for the Jarwin here. I'm just going for his Krugs. And if there's someone like guarding the Krugs, I'm just gonna try to kill them. What the hell? <laughs> I guess he did not expect me there. I should back. I have a lot of gold, but I want to get this first. Get everything. Twelve kills, and we have 192 CS at 17 minutes. Uh, yeah. So this is how people do this, by the way. This is how you carry games. It is possible to get a shit ton of kills and like more than 10 CS per minute. This is like a diamond. Three Diamond 2 game too. Does not feel like it's kind of making it look like it's over, I won't lie. The Wanderer isn't always lost. I'm just gonna hunt for more kills. Oh. But going here is probably pretty bad. That's how I can like throw the game. But going for Her like going for Harold and being with my team is the smarter play, but I kinda wanna kill people. Oh, I'm actually dead here. Yeah, as I said, this is the only this is the way to throw. I should have saved bolts. No, nah, I didn't think Zed would be there. Dude, Tarek's just OP. Tarek's OP. Ugh. Yeah, you can't really 1v3. It's like I'm so fed, but if they have a Tarek, I can't really do anything. Because Yasu's the type of champion where it's like Um, if you're in, you're in there, right? You can't really get back out. That's why Yone has a lot more carry potential. Like in that scenario, I could just like E in, then once the target ults, I just like E away, right? Then I go back in. That's why I can't really do that. I should have played it slower though, but. Yeah, as I said, before I even went for that, that was, um, I knew that was a bad play to go for. Oh! My team is kinda. 
little weak without me, I won't lie. Yeah, that was a troll. That was a troll. I called it up before it happened, though. Not a good play to go. Okay, Mordecai is broken? No shot. Almost lived. Oh my god, I just fucking splooged on him. Air Soul. Dude, Air Soul is the most boring soul. I don't even want to get these dragons. No, it's just so hard to 1v3 when you don't have Conqueror too. Like, where's the Conqueror? I need it. I don't know how you do this shit in Diamond. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing this game for a long time, boss. Remember that. A long ass time. You won the winning team lottery, me? Um, I don't think I really got carried this one, I'm gonna be honest, but maybe. Okay, I just need to be in my team, I need to stop for pushing. My team just kind of, kind of dying every single second that I'm not like holding their end, so. Oh god, another Tarkle. Aren't you dead here? Yo, can we stop running it down on CD? Um, okay, well this game is losable. I don't know, my team's kinda just like running it and not trying at all. See, that's the bad thing about like carrying really hard. Your team literally just- I, it's, it's a thing, by the way. If you're like 1v9ing, your team will literally just stops trying. It's not even a joke. Like they just don't try at all. They're just like, "Oh shit, this guy's fucking one v nine. I'm not. I'm just gonna th run it down." Like this Draven is not trying at all. Like he's literally just running it down on cooldown, not caring at all. It's like, man, it's so annoying. Like, it doesn't mean just play worse because I'm carrying you. Okay, well I'm just gonna group permanently because my team is like. But we should probably lose this game now. Also, is it? It's pretty fucking disgusting that I can't come close to one v one a Gwen. When I have uh, a whole item on her. That's the bad thing about Yasuo. Yasuo's 1v9 potential is disgustingly low. Champ just is so outdated. Compared to like something like Gwen. Gwen just like is shitting on me. So nasty man. Oh we can still win but... A bit cringe. It's kind of getting Zed ulted on cooldown. Gwen focused. Tarik ulted. They can kill my they can kill my whole team without using any ultimates. So, bit of a blower. It's fine though. It's a win. We will win. I mean, did a group. Oh my god, that feeling is not okay. I just had a group one time. I from the ult. <laughs> just holding the nader for any ults. Yeah, we just group one time. I was kind of trolling. I thought the game was like completely over, and I was just not grouping my team, so. Not bad. Always need to group with your team when you're this bad, or they're kind of worthless without you. Then the Herald. Okay. We have the Tarikul. I'm gonna go for Twitch here. Get the tower! Why is this tower so tanky? Oh my god, I lost all my health. Go just hit it, just hit it, just hit it. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Well. A little shaky at the end there, but we group, we're fine. Nice, nice. Victory. Game. 
Eh, okay, that's not really the best. I can put it here. We could just. Eh. Covers the chat. What about here? This doesn't cover. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. We figured it out. Okay, so like this game, we have to like kill our opponent like 30 times. Like this is an example where like Yasuo mid is not the angle at all. Middle six Darius, so it's like come late game and we have no knockups. Like this is just like this is what I'm talking about where like Yasuo is not a champion that you can just play every game. Um Yon can be played every game, 100 percent But Yasuo is just like it, it's so bad. He's so bad this game. But Yeah. Winnable. It's like this is a bad bad like um position to be in because let's say our team like ints we can't win like we cannot carry this game for our team in so we just gotta hope our team like performs and we like just gap mid yeah this guy's like a hard die hard victor main professor hex and then he has a victor icon jesus there's not many um victor otps i play my brother i play teemo yon top any jungles would you recommend an ad carry support comp instead like, play AD carry and support instead together. Um, I mean, if you enjoy those roles, yeah. It's kind of just like whatever you enjoy playing. What do you do when you- what, what do you ban when I play Yon? Um, I play an auction on every game. My champ's OP. Not the first strike, Victor. I think you saw I think you could We could've went d uh, shot on this lane, because like, he kind of pokes a lot early, but... This is the type of game where I feel like I have to play for solo kills. We're kind of doomed. Never could. We're a little out comp this game. But if we just play better, we can win. This matchup's not too bad. I'd rather be Yon in this matchup, I think, but. Just looking for a road home. After level 3, you just abuse it hard. Oh, I tried to not hit that minion. Oops. I'm actually pushing on him somehow. I mean, if he's just gonna like give me the push, I'll just hard push this wave. I don't care about hitting him here. Oh, but I'm not nah, missing cannon. They're so bad though. Missing cannon is so bad there. Hmm. If we sell the potion, cheater's still fine. I kind of like went for that trade for no reason. I should have like recalled. Going for that trade was like a waste of time. But basically, a cheater recall is like pushing or still pushing the first two waves and hard pushing the last wave. And then you come back in time and then you freeze the lane. It's really good if you can do it. You should not be able to do it against Victor, but he kind of just like let me push and didn't hit the wave. It's actually really good for us. And now the wave is in like a perfect spot, and yeah, he wants the back. He wants to push it in. Only thing is he has TP, and we don't. So like, if we take a really like bad trade, he's gonna TP back. So we need to like not. Yes. I like want to like give him a hard time though. Mm, this is really greedy to go for. Honestly, it wasn't even that good to do. Hmm. Um, that's fine. I, I still got a really good freeze and he's gonna miss a lot. But I did lose a lot of health there, so I'm probably gonna need help in my jungle. Cause he's just gonna TP back and now I don't have my potions. This is probably pretty greedy to do and I shouldn't have done it. Um, it's fine though. If my jungler was like playing for mid this game, it was good to do that. But since he was like going top and like Rengar doesn't really want to go near mid, kind of awkward now. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's fine though. He can't really stop us from pushing this. Can wait for next wave and then push it in. The thing about Yasuo is that he pushes waves insanely fast. Virtue is no 
more than a luxury. Yeah, it turned out okay. But yeah, like, getting this freeze right here is, like, really good if my jungler is playing midside. Because then, like, that guy would be in such a bad position. That's why I really, really, really hate playing with Vanguard as a Yasuo player. It feels really bad playing with the champion that, like, only wants to fight in side lanes. Because, um, really easy to gank mid. With Yasuo. But, it's okay. Try a new build this game? No. I want to try to force the freeze here. Eh, it's kind of hard. My wave's not even close. I just don't want to go even, then. Uh, I got a Loki out. Trying to, like, be as annoying as possible, because, like, going even in this lane is not what you want to do. Damn, if that hits. I just like a different a play style, you know? Like, Rengar just wants the power farm. But my wave has just been, like, in such a good spot the whole game. And if I had, like, a jungle like Fiddle, Sejuani, or something like that, it's just so easy to punish this. Backing. Hard push it. It is not yet time. Not terrible. We're still like up in CS, but mm. I think we're doing our job. You're not getting ganked for. Can't really do much about it. But now Fiddle's gonna be like level six. That's really scary to play aggressive. It's a blink. Yeah, happy fourth, guys. If you One celebrate it, happy fourth. Yeah, like now I don't really want to play aggressive at all because if Fiddle's just like in the bush and he ults me, I just die. But honestly, like picking up early MR would be very beneficial. Yeah, we need to back up, guys. What are we doing? Hello? I mean, they're just dead to victory. I don't know. Oh. Mm. It looks, it looks like one of these games where it's like there's nothing you can really do. Like your jungler's not playing for you at all, and then their jungler's like around 24-7. So you can't really play aggressive. And then your whole team is losing. So, game, probably gonna be an L. That play's so weird. I mean, I missed that here. I can't do anything. I mean, yeah, this game is over. I don't know. I hate playing with Rengar and Kha'Zix. Oh, like Victor had just been the sitting duck for like all game long, man, and he just does not come a single time. So annoying. What the hell? What's this guy doing? And he's taking every kill. Smudge. There's a whole wave just for Rengar to steal the kill. Unlucky. Bedeed sent me to learn? Did I just like play with Bedeed or something or what? I walk through the stream dead. You still win, but this game is gonna be like. I don't know. It's a feels like shit type of game. Not much we're really gonna get to do this whole game. Maybe we can go for this? It looks really hard though. Fiddle's here, it's so doomed. Okay. 
<clears throat> I think if my Zeri like tried to play the video game, um, I think we could have killed them. But <laughs> she's literally just not doing anything. What the fuck, man? That wasn't even there. I thought should have been pretty free. But um, yeah, he's not really playing the video game, fortunately. He just walks away. Oh, she's dead. Oops. You have slain an enemy. Our champion is OP. I think Victor's a pretty shit champ. Like, that's a champion where, like, you don't... Don't play that champion. Not worth it. Gonna push one more wave. Well, I guess we could still win because Rengar's really fed. But yeah, it's just like Rengar and Yasuo want to do two different things. And like playing for both is like really fucking hard, man. So I. Yeah, if you have a Rengar or like a Kha'Zix, playing Yasuo is probably not the play. A lot better to play Yon. Have you played No Man's Sky? No, I have not. Well, maybe Rengar carries this game. As for me, I cannot really do too much, honestly. No knockups into their comp. Feels pretty ass. Nice. An enemy has been slain. I don't really want to push for this. I don't know where Fiddle is. I'm pretty sure Fiddle is probably in this bush, though. A bit scary. Uh, they're backing up. I doubt he's here. He's not here. Oh. Oh, my Tark is very interesting player. <laughs> what the fuck? Thing. An ally has been slain. That's not the vibe. You could be diving bot right now, but Tar kind of like ulted nothingness. I got to go back mid. Oh, they get one. Nice. My honor left a long time ago. Dude, Victor does like no damage. What the hell? Too much his ass. No, oh, I miss cannon. Step ahead of the oh, hello. He's got a scale into the moon, though. We don't really want to play aggressive. Fiddle's probably just going to ult us. Fuck this top lane again, actually. Don't let Dunn hear you say that. <laughs> yeah, I know I know Dunn hates Yasuo. It's like this matchup is so ass, which it really is. Did I miss when Dunn played a lot in Challenger? I wish when Challenger miss when Challenger was fun, man. Nobody plays. I literally queue up on my 1.2k LP account and I just don't know anyone in the lobby. It's like how is that possible, man? Nobody like plays this game anymore. It's so sad. Sleep is for the guiltless. I'll just queue up and then I'll just have like Grandmaster Master players on my team like, oh. Okay. Not gonna hit tower there, I'm kinda a little scared. Though. Chickens. There's a whole loons. Should be free. Oh, 
Gosh, I see Flash again. Yes. Yeah, I'm kind of just playing with my jungler this game. I always play with the fed players and don't like hover the lane that's like useless. Like, oh, my colleague's one and three. I'm not saying it's her fault she's one and three. She's kind of getting camped, but I mean. Um, yeah, we're not gonna play towards the Akali, who's like getting camped, right? We don't want to play into the fiddle sticks. Gotta abuse the lane that, like, yeah. I just follow the jungle around if he's like super fed. Good. Yeah, this is a good example of like a Yasuo game where like Yasuo is just really fucking bad. He is. You do not want to be Yasuo this game. But, you can still make it work if you're really good at him. Still won't be ideal though. Definitely not a champion like Yon, bro. Like, no matter what, you can 1v9. I also ain't really like that. For the most part. No one is promised you will not be able to kill the Darius Fiddlesticks. Trust me. Best thing you can do is just like not tilt out of your mind though. Like just because you're getting camped and like your whole team's dying, don't just like oh play hyper aggressive and just like int yourself. Because then there's like zero probability that you're gonna win the game. But since like we didn't just like run it down and play super aggressive because our team was inting, still win. People throw. People throw. I will not forget who I am. Do this really fast. I think? Uh, that should be fine. Uh, we can win this 3v3, I think. Alright, should start. It's so hard to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, also without knockups feels so ass, man. Hmm, Fiddle 6 should be coming. Yeah, we don't want to fight. Basically, if we don't have flash, we can't really play fights, like, at all. Kinda get kited very easily. We can start now. This should be really good. Nice. Nice, okay, that's huge. They're both mid, can you make this real fast? That's really important, by the way, like, yoinking their camps? So huge, people don't do this enough. It gives you so much gold and denies them so much gold. This is the biggest thing you could do, like, just deny people and snowball. It's so overpowered, man. Honor is in the heart, not the Looks like I'm getting matched with apes every game. Yes, I have false too, and I'm working on them up here, but sometimes winning lane isn't enough. What's your tip to escape? Bot high golds? Um, I mean, you just have to play better. There's no, like, secret. Um, like, that's why I'm making this, like, series, this guide, just, like, explaining how to, like, get to Diamond. Because, like, obviously if, like, Challenger players can not lose a single game in Gold Plot, then it's definitely, like, viable to get out of, you know? You just need to ignore your teammates being bad, because chances are you're risking really bad players, too. Not chances are, you are, so you need to focus on yourself. And you're not gonna have like a, a super hard insert every single game, you know? No cure for yeah, this game just feels like if my jungler didn't like per like hyper smurf, I just lose. But, I mean, there's nothing else we really could have done this one. We just played like um, like pretty much like how we could have. I don't think I win. Win against that guy. Didn't die to ganks, just farmed it out, got a solo kill in the end. Did as much as we could. I kinda wanna fight him. I win. Hmm. I think with Ignite I win. Probably not worth going for though. 
How's that people coming now? I think I can win the 1v1, but I'm definitely not 2v1ing. I have a bounty. I'm 116. I'll let Zary have it. She's doing well. <sighs> I have a bounty for CSing minions. My fault. I'll actually just try to. Oh, it's gone. Let's go. Play for dragon this game. This game should be a dub. Should be a dub. Dying's the easy part. Finger's kind of fed out of his mind. I don't want to fight something. Hope Darius is here. Doubt it though. As long as Fiddlesticks doesn't get like a huge ulti, we should just win every fight. Oh, that works. Yeah, they have like no frontline, Darius. But like, if your only frontline is your top laner, it's pretty bad. I'm just gonna hit. Oh, not sure what we're doing over there. Like, there's no reason for me to be mid there because like I can't help anyway. Oh, I'm actually dead. I did not see this guy at all. Man, I actually wouldn't want to be one too. Fringe. Okay, that's my bad. Well, at least he went to me instead of going for my um, bot lane there. Not bad, he flashed too. Not awful. Yeah, if I don't die there, they probably don't get dragon now. I don't think a dragon. Actually, a call TP? Oh, I still get it. They all die for it though. We get Baron off this. We should. Oh. Is she actually dead? Wow. Oh my god, Darius is a champion. Oh, we don't get Baron off it now, but... Maybe we do? We... Hmm. Seems really hard. Nah, there's no... Oh, Victor is Bob, but he probably has TP. If I don't die there, we get, um, we get Baron. A really bad death by Nida. What the hell? My Zerd does no damage. Ooh. We're gonna miss. Thank you. I'm gonna give him the scuttle so he doesn't slur at me. I'm scared. I'm scared of Rengar players. I'm a Leo. 1, 2, and 6. Yeah. My character does not do too much on this one. I will not lie. But, good example of a game of like how to play when like... It's not a good Yasuo game and you want to play Yasuo anyway. I want to be topside here because I don't have CP, and I want to be near the Baron. I can't really go out for that either, though. Okay, we do not, we do not want to fight this guy. No way in hell we win. Just start Baron. If we can sneak it, it's good. No, I just get it. Okay. I mean, there is a not to start Baron there. If they come, we just walk away. If they, um. Well, it could have been bad if, like, this was warded and then, like, Fiddle 6 ults us, but. I'm basically just, like, trying to find ways to win without, like, fighting. Because I literally can't fight these champions as Yasuo, so. I'm just trying to be relevant by, like, having a lot of impact in side lanes. Drawing their pressure and just getting a shit ton of CS. That's all I can really do. Can't really participate in like these fights.
guess. You know, I farm as much as I can. My Rengar is bot side, so I may as well just take his camps. Obviously, don't take your Dremelers camps if like, you can get them, but if they can't get them, they're not going to be bad if you take them. The road to ruin is shorter than you think. No point of ARAM, I'm just going to keep side laning. Quite the boring game, I won't lie, but yeah. Going into this game, I was already like, hmm, can't really do much. So, this is what you do in these games. No way we can 1v1 him. Dust Dance, Tabby, and Bramble, yeah. I think I'll pass. I would need Bork if I want to fight him, but going Bork this game is pretty troll. Because I'm not playing to like 1v1 the Darius anyway, and that's the only way that Bork is useful this game. We're basically just like playing to get a lot of gold and just play for dragons about it. But honestly, like, we don't really have much control this game. Kinda up to like the rest of my team. Which that's how you know, like this game is not a good Yasuo game, if that's the case. I wanna push out this way before Dragon. Never now if they go to Dragon, they're missing like two whole waves. Really big actually. As long as I do not die in the way. Yeah, see? Now he's to catch the top wave and now he's to Dragon. They're probably just giving Dragon. They can't really um best. Also, this game, since I'm really low econ, I have like no kills or anything. I'm just gonna go GA third. It's not worth waiting for Death Dance. Yeah, they're just giving. It's like, even if my champ is bad this game, I'm still really relevant because I'm just getting so much CS and so much gold that I'm just like out leveling. Oh, I actually need. Oh, I gotta solve my D blade actually. Also, Dust Dance is really bad in Darius. So if I can go GA. Oh, what the fuck? Hello? Oh, get off of me! I'm watching. Am I actually still dead? He has Red Smite on Fiddlesticks? What? Okay, well, I should have flashed earlier. I did not think. Whatever. I mean, if they're Fiddlesticks ulting me, we just want to play it. It's completely fine. It's their only win con in fights. Yes. Nice. Oh, we just win now. One and three? Yes, my champion is terrible this game. I'm literally only picking it because I'm streaming, sir. Hi. <laughs> Good comment, Twitch chat. Your team has destroyed a turret. It's like... <sighs> Twitch chat just tries to like tilt you as much as possible. <laughs> Whatever. It's like, yes, I know. If I was like not streaming, I would pick a champion that isn't Yasuo here. And then I would like do a lot more, but... You know, it's fine. Whatever makes you happy, sir. Also, I'll just go Death Dance since I have perfect gold for it now. I was going GA before because, um... Next fight was probably going to win the game, but the fight already happened, so... Going Death Dance is perfectly fine now. Yeah, what the hell? You're 1-3 to against Fiddlesticks Darius? You fucking noob. How come I use Legacy Cursor? Um, I played in Season 1, so I'm just really used to it. This feels better for me. We do not want to be fighting, I think. Okay, the Death Dance. Yeah. That's all I can do. Nice. Ooh. Rico? Oh, she does. Okay. Oh, I did my job. Got a fat knockup, and I was just humping my AD carry the whole fights. I have one kill, man. Well, some games are like this. Like, 
if you do not have a Yasuo comp at all, you're kind of just a support. Just help your, um, you're just a CC bot. Yeah, I'm literally just a CC, R bot, and a Windwall bot. Because I have no knockups in my team. Sometimes you just gotta play for your AD carry. Like, if your AD carry is really fed, Yasuo's actually really good at feeling. You just Windwall in front of them, have NATO. End the game, please! I don't want to die again! Why are you playing for KDA? End the game, man! God damn it. Whatever. And that is how you play also a game when you have no knockups or anything. Very rough. Very rough. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall. I'm like 100% sure I'm an ISFP. Well, okay, maybe not 100% sure. I said that shit for years. Kinda random. I don't think you know that. I don't think I ever told you that. But every single time I've tested on like every single site ever, it's always been ISFP. And there's no way, I'm pretty sure like, I kind of like forget because I haven't been like, I don't know what they are anymore, but I'm, there's no shot on ISFJ. Also, this is another Bork game, I think. Going Bork into a lot is really good. I think it's like a bruiser, like Bork. Honor is in the heart. Yeah, I'm not good at like... Hmm. I don't know. Which GPU do I use? I don't fucking know. I have no idea. Yasuo or Yon? Uh, what about them? What's the question? I'd rather be Yon in this matchup for sure, but it's fine. I'm on a Yasuo, yeah, I'm on a Yasuo, like, binge. Um, yeah, this matchup is definitely an interesting one. You're not going to be versing many Alawi mids, but... I don't think it's too, too bad. Just gotta play the matchup slow. I kind of like... Slain, okay, like, as long as you don't get hit by her E, you just win. Oh, I should have taken a hard trade there. Mm, his minion advantage. Yeah, Malawi W has like no cooldown. What the hell? Yeah, I can't say I'm too like um familiar with this matchup. Don't do it very often. He's just hard pushing. Doesn't have E yet. Um, I don't really think I went an all in though. Not yet. Use two potions though. I mean, honestly, just like if you're against a juggernaut, waiting for a gank is probably like the safest play because like they're designed to win one v one, you know. I just used everything though. Bone pudding. Don't want to go all in on that. I win wall dash. I win now. Triumph. Oh, okay. That was really close. We played that perfectly and we still almost lost. <laughs> Yasuo moment. I dodged literally everything and I almost died. That was kind of really risky to do. You actually body blocked me and made me get hit by the Q here though. Yeah, I don't know. That... I don't think it was really the play. I think that was really risky, but it worked out. It worked out, so... We're gonna call it a good play. I'm just gonna rush Vamp up through here. Actually, I don't like that. Fuck, I wanna get Refill Pop, though. I think that's fine. Vamp Scepter's, like, good and safe, but it's, like, a lot less kill pressure, so... I don't like doing this, maybe. There's more mobility. Did she flash there? I don't think she did. One step ahead of the pass. I would have lost it and tilted. Yeah, I feel like the average Yasuo main would have just like went all in when she had bone plating and then just die. Like it's really important to like proc bone plating before you go for an all in. Because like you literally just hard lose if you go in and they have bone plating. But the thing with this matchup is just because you get ahead early, you get a free kill, does not mean you just auto win. He's still a juggernaut, so 
have to play these lanes very slow. Yeah, she didn't flash. She still flash. Mm. Just focus the deposits here. Can we kill her too? Oh, close. Dude, the champion is like so scary. Bro! <gasps> Zillion, run! It's a minefield. The champion is like low key so fun to burst though. It's just a lot of people don't know how to burst her because like nobody like plays allowing, you know? My god, it's so terrifying. <laughs> Okay, well now she flash. Oh, should she stay for this wave? I think it's because she saw me back. Damn. Why should I stay? Because now she gets a full cannon wave for free. Like I would kill her on this wave if I stayed. I mean, she doesn't push an atomic freeze. Hmm, she gets in. Unlucky. Okay, we're two and zero. She's own one, but again, it's a juggernaut. Just because. For a 2 0 does not mean we automatically win slow. If this is like a mage, yeah, we're not scared at all. But it's a Lowey level 6, so if we get hit by her E, we still hard lose. Like you could literally do like 5 0 against the Lowey. If you like run into her E and like her ult and just try to fight it, you just lose. So. My little TFT last night, did you win my? I kind of smorphing lately on the Jade comp. I'm gonna have Ignite now. It's a little scary. I'm hard pushing this wave just because I have no vision down and I want to get vision and... If you're hard pushing, they can't really contest the vision, you know? Oh, I should have rolled that. Ow, 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 ow. Again, always get vision here to mid laner. Really, she's not in this bush. Really? Nah, but like, she's just an RNG player, hello? Dude, I hate Juggernauts, man. The fact that, like, she can miss her E like that, I'm 2-0 and, and I still can't kill her. It's so sad, actually. This is why Juggernauts are, like, really good, especially in lower MMRs, for, like, players that are, like, not that good at the game. It's very, um, unpunishing playing champions like this. You just need to leave. How is... I thought this whole candle wave. Not worth staying there. Too scary. I'm gonna get dove or something. Yeah, it's like we're two and zero, oh, and she's zero and one, and she still can like two v one us. It's crazy, man. We have a psychotic. Lost one game. It was sad. I've been losing every game. I don't know how to play that game anymore. I need a new patch. That's what I need. Okay, Zeri with a 2v1? Huge. They're sending a lot of mids, so... Good for us. Ranked? Yeah, I'm playing ranked, sir. I'm playing ranked League of Legos. Okay, we hard win at level 6. Basically, in a lot of matchups, you just need to like, think about like what abilities they have. It's like, okay, if she lands E, I can't fight. If she has ults, I can't really fight her. Like goes for every matchup. You just gotta like play League like it's a turn based game, low key. That's how I think about it. Like, I can do this when this happens. I can't do this if this doesn't happen, you know? Like, shit like that. You know, when all the slow there. Now, they are, um. I'll go mid. In my own tomato soup. It's not really bad for Gerd, tomato soup. Oh, I don't want to scan him. If I was Yone 2 0 at this point, though, this shit's free. That's what I'm going for right now. I'm just wasting her E. I'm watching an ult just for damage here. I think it's worth it. It's a good chunk. 
Yeah, Miss Shannon will not leave, man. Holy. I'm not really planning to all-in her anyway, so getting a chunk like that is good, in my opinion. All-ins are bad. I guess we're playing a 2v2 lane at the moment, though. Bone fighting. This is fine. Like, going even against Alawi is good. <laughs> yeah, let's kill the Jetta. What? Damn. Oh my god, she's emotional. She escaped by going to the tentacle. I'd be so tilted. Yeah, see, we're just like playing it slow. Like, just because you have a lead doesn't mean you have to play like super aggro and just like go in. Like, if you're getting ganked a lot, not dying to ganks, just wasting people's time is like huge, you know? Also, we're just draining this guy's mana out. Yeah, we can go for it all in. Oh, Janna's back. What the hell is this, man? Mm. Yeah. I have to ignite out. My ulti there, I just die. They seem very tilted, though. Very, very tilted. Okay, she is uh, tilted out of her mind, I see. Caught it. Ah, Janna players. Janna, Janna, Janna players. How the league been treating you? Pretty low quality games, but we've been winning most of them. Only game we lost today is um getting intentionally fed on. Like someone just ran it down. Should have dodged. My bad. Zip town. Doing well. Yeah, we're going to bork this game just because if you go shield bow into like a bruiser, you can never fight them. So I think bork is uh really good. Also, a lot of people think bork is just like bad if they only have one tanky unit, but like. Just because they're not tanky doesn't mean Bork does no damage. Like, Bork still does a shit ton of damage. Even against someone who's like not super tanky. Like it's always gonna out damage um Bilbo. Oh, I should have ulted that actually. Been watching a lot of Urbits. My young AWR is now 57% on 138 Boys. games played after starting at 30% on 30 games. Yeah, this game is just over. It is just a uh, bit jungle gap this game. What the hell is that gonna do? Yo, thank you, CSU. Thank you for the two months. Been watching a lot of your vids. My yeoman is now 57% on 138 games. I'm starting at 30%. God damn. Proud of you. It's huge. Very, very good. You get it to 60%. I believe in you. I should play some yeoman today, but I don't know. Yasuo has just been so fun lately to me. So much more fun. I really do think like 50%, at least 50% of games, going Bork Rush is the play at the moment on Yasuo. It feels like so many games you go shield, but you do absolutely no damage at all. It feels like ass. A little limit test. I have Bork, I should win, I think. Oh my god. And she dies. Easy game. Just because we're against a bruiser, Bell can take over the game <laughs> as Yasuo mid.
You want me to GP? Uh, D shell, TP, and second one if you really need it. It's a really, really hard lane. I personally ban it if I play top lane. Oops. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall. Do you read, do you read it as zilli zillion or zillion? <laughs> Fuck. Zillion. I still don't know what lean is. Well, my explain it to me, but I forgot. What is the lean? The passive. What the stream? What rank is this? this is like uh masters. Your team has this is counts masters. Dude, my main is a thousand LP now because I decayed. And I don't know. I don't want to play on my main. It's so cringe. Something about an account getting like plus fucking. Gasper ah, syndrome. It was not the playboys. <laughs> the guy knew that was gonna be int. Oh well. Something about an account getting like plus 14 per win just makes me like try less. Even like if I try to not think like that, like subconsciously my brain just can't try hard. The gains are ass. The one to sub since decades. Eugene. Sub. Now I see your stuff. I was like, huh? Yosh. Thank you, Jinpei. Thank you for the two months. What's the account name? Uh, Adar Ladori. Yeah, thank you for the two months, Jinpei. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Hello Fresh? Dude, it's so clean. The best, thank you, Jinpei. Game seems a bit over. We're in Doctor Gains anyway to keep playing, so I think there should be less account creation if people gains didn't get to fucked. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Like, my main literally had like a 75% win rate, and then like, after the gains got fucked, I was like, I can't really like, try hard anymore on it. So. Now I just like, play Decay and like, half-ass it. I mean, it's, it's not good to do, but I mean, it's so hard to try hard. I can't play like, a 50 minute game. Like, I can't just play two 50 minute games, go one and one, and then lose LP after those two games is over, you know? It's just, such a shit feeling. We got Tempos? It's not Tempus. Kill him. Did it ulti? That's not ulti. Make their whole fucking jungle. I mean, the game's over. So I'm not really explaining things right now. This game was just like, how I played the early game, and that's why we won this game. Flip Alma. Huh? Just died of a flip. Your team 
No, I think just like let us in, please. Let's go next game. Yeah, that's a really good game. Probably played the matchup, especially. Oh, please just die. Very, very good game. Me and Jungle just like took over the game so hard. Oh my god, I almost let my Singe die. I go Bork because I was gonna send a Lowie. Good into a. It's like. It was not fun. It's okay. Now I'll learn. Um, it's pretty. It's kind of a coin flip if I play well this lane. You don't like coin flipping duos? No, I actually don't. It's actually really not fun to verse. No one is promised tomorrow. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Actually, very ends up. Wait, what's that Sona skin? What the hell? Wait, that pentacle with the chroma is so nice. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. All right, give me like a um, easy game over the last last game. Oh, bad word. Oh, I should choke. Works out. If I don't choke, he probably dies there. Here, anime attack on Titan. Oops. Nightbringer feels smooth, looks like shit. Really? I don't think it looks like shit. I like it. Wait, Twitch is so cringe. Wait, that character is so. I win mid lane. Boggers. Oh, but bot lane is kind of doomed. <laughs> Everybody's so late to lane. Stay in one place. Yeah, Cinder lane is, um... Obviously you can't do anything early game. I really wish I started E, but... We were invading, so I did not. I mean, starting E is usually bad, but like, since she's that low, I could just, like, kill her. One step ahead. Obviously she wins until level 3, and then level 3 you kind of take over. As long as you can win while the stun. That's how the matchup goes, and then it just gets easier and easier. Yeah, the early game is uh very rough. It can be very rough. Good trade. Oh. Yeah, as soon as I saw her get level two, I was like, I just need to push this though, because the wave's gonna get really fucked if I don't. It was Shundle top side. I didn't. Wasn't. Time's the easy part. Yeah, level 2 we do not win, because we cannot win while the stun. I don't really want to walk up. I have to give some CS, it's fine. You didn't ult the Gragas knockup. Yeah, I don't like pushing early in this lane. How has happened? One purpose. Gaming? She's really low. Hmm, I'm trying to jump. Um, he would fucking... We could die pretty easily. I don't really want to die by myself. Like, she has flash, I don't really think... If I hard push this way, we could try to dive. We have bots. Probably okay. Hmm, how do I play this? I already missed. I'm not worth it. Just wait for jungle. He just dies if Hecarim comes. Yeah. He didn't get here fast enough. That shades the recall. Lows. This was flash. I couldn't really just like dive her. Oh, she's staying actually. Oh. Uh. 
<laughs> he died to, he just died of the tower. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't even notice. He just kind of ran it down. Oh. Oh, how, how we... I mean, he can't kill me here. Oh, he can bite me through the wall? What? Oh. Huh? But how did he bite me through the wall? What? Yeah, I didn't know he had that much attack range. Wait, Trundle has that much attack range? That he can... Really? Well, okay, today I learned. I never knew he had that long of an attack range to, like, auto through walls. Teeth size diff. What the fuck? Does the Q increase the attack range? I didn't know that. I did not know that. Also, what is this? What is this cringe behavior? I think their AD carry died one single time and just gave up, so... Cool. Brother, do not make it to one for one. Madge? Okay, game's over. Let's go! Game's pretty over. Yeah, game is really over. Well, we wished for an easy game for the last game of the day, and we, the wish is granted. The wish is granted. Nice. Yeah, I guess she like died one single time and 80 carry players are so mentally ill that they just gave up. I mean, I'd be pretty mad if I lost to a Twitch Sona lane, as Caitlyn looks. I will not forget who I am. Must be nice having a jungle that ganks. Um, I mean, yeah, doesn't really happen too often, but... I have perfect gold for zeal, so I think getting it there is just good. My support is inting, GG! Like, man... So cringe. I hate AD carry players. No one is promised tomorrow. Man, the one time he like plays it like that, I don't win wall instantly. What are the odds? Like I've been like predicting the win wall every time except for that time. That's the time he did it. Yeah, this lane is completely over for her. Like she has so hard win an early game, which is doomed. <clears throat> Also, low-key, every single time I see Hecarim, it performs. But like, why does Dwayne always complain on Twitter that the champ sucks? I have not seen the champion not do like, I don't know. Like, every single time I see Hecarim, it performs. I think it might be Cope. Won't lie. I don't think he's broken at all, but I don't think he's bad. I just got stomped on by a Hecarim? Yeah. I'm hungry? Me too. I still want Chick-fil-A, but... Probably should not eat Chick-fil-A. I already had coffee, and I probably shouldn't have even had the coffee. So if I have coffee and Chick-fil-A, I might die. I don't want to die. I don't want another incident. The flame stomach incident. Justice. That's a pretty word. Also, Nebula, do you have a Discord? Do you have a Discord? Add me. I go bot here. What's yours? Just uh, join my Discord and I'm on the top. On my Discord. Oh yeah, they're just running a bot. <laughs> I mean, they need to like rework Hecarim because like, Hecarim is such an annoying champion, man. Separate. 
Dude, the airblade didn't hit him. Did you guys see that? The airblade doesn't hit him because I'm out. Man, that's cringe. It's like he was in tower range, so my character went like too far out of tower range, and the airblade didn't hit. And I want a turret plating. I ain't moving. Well, hell no, I ain't moving. I'm getting the plating. Airblade, yeah, it's when you EQ ult. EQ ult, and your EQ goes on your ulti. Oh, hello, sir. My champion is fucking broken. Nice. Honestly, I don't even think I had a flash. I'm pretty sure I could have killed everyone. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I had a flash away. I could have killed everyone. I should just like flash on Lux. Uh, Syndra used her stun and she didn't have ulti. Not bad. I'm not too scared. Yasuo's back. Yeah, the only way Yasuo's like really good is if you have like 10 knockups and like they pick a D tier champion. Like Syndra's terrible right now, isn't she? I don't see anyone play that character. He seems pretty pissed. I'm coming. Just need knockups. What the hell? This guy actually powered this way? Bro, they are mentally checked out, I think. Yo, how do I just go on lost streaks and then win streaks? Lost streaks and win streaks. Over and over again. The sword for What's your favorite Yasuo skin? Uh, Nightbringer. I like Nightbringer the best. I feel like I need an AP champion to add in my pool. It's like, I want to say Cassiopeia, but like, dude, it's gonna take so many games to be good at Cassiopeia. Only way Yasuo is good is if he Twitch ganks a shit champ level 1 and you have jungle gap, yes, literally. If the stars align and the champ pops off. What about Nivea? She's so boring. Like, I need a champion that's like fun to watch too. I don't want to play a Nivea on stream. Like, literally every time I lock into Nivea, I lose like at least 100 viewers minimum. I don't, like, I don't even blame people that leave. It's like, that champ is so boring. My neighbor is pretty cracked though. That was pretty good at that character. Not too shot. I'm coming. I don't even think I need the help at all. I'm just here to get an assist. Or are you going to kill? Zed, no, I need an AP champ, not an AD champ. I already have enough AD champions. Let's go to the Shin Grove. Grove. Give me some UK. I'm just yoinking this whole turret plating, my god. I got four of them. I bet you get all five. Jesus. You are kind of rich. Victor? Victor's really boring too. Ziggs? Ziggs made his ass. Akali? Maybe Akali. Kassadin? I don't like him. I think either Akali or Silas. I swear Silas is OP. Or he's not OP, but like, he's really good for solo queue in my opinion. And he literally has like the same playstyle, but also yo. Like you wait till level 3 and then you're like, they're 1v9. Yeah, I think it's either Akali or Silas. Or maybe both. Try to play both. 
I think Akali's like pretty shit right now though. Not shit, but like she's not that good. I do want to be like a pure- No, what? I want to be like a pure assassin player. I don't want to play mages really. Except for Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is the only mage I've played. But she's uh, she's really hard. I used to be good at her, but I mean, a long time ago. Blend. LeBlanc? LeBlanc is awful. Our champ is so bad. And she's hard. Like, she's bad and hard. Yeah. You don't see me playing range? Uh, my Cassiopeia back in the day was like amazing. Like I was one of the best in the server. But that was like five years ago. So. An enemy has been slain. I was disgusting with that character. Kill. What are your video settings? I got you. There you go. My I'm coming, Gargus. I'm coming. Oh shit, that guy got outplayed. Doing that right? <laughs> okay, I got scared. I was like, maybe I should have flashed and helped him, but I believed in him. I knew Cloud wasn't that OP. Yo, low key, I keep playing until I lose a game. Thoughts? Maybe that's the maybe that's the angle. Go until I lose. I don't get a silver. I'm having ass teammates. Um, because you're focusing on your teammates and not your gameplay. If you're focusing on your teammates and silver. You're griefing. Yeah, I mean it's silver. Like, do you expect to have good teammates in silver? I don't know how it works. Just kind of have to focus on yourself and playing well. If you're not playing well enough. Pulls up. Where are they, by the way? Oh, actually doesn't land. Are getting flanked? No shot, I choke, how? But how fucking broken is Yasuo? Holy shit. How is the champ balanced? Infinite dashes, wind wall, block every ability in the game. One tapping people. How is this character balanced? My god. How is this champ? Didn't even have the ult. Please nerf Yasuo. Please. Do OP. I was like not in range. Watch. I was really spamming R. Oh shit, what the fuck? That scared the fuck out of me. Oh. That was a really good game. Kind of our first stomp today. It was good. I will... Never mind. I don't want to say it. Can't say it on stream. Burb will just have a free win in her hand and just like not do anything. <sighs> they have its heart. What is their comp? Whose comp is better? I think our comp is better. Low key, I think Diego, this patch, not good. Not a good champ. It's like okay, but like, I'd rather have Yasuo Diana. Like, what what is more threatening, Lissandra Viego or Yasuo Diana? Definitely Yasuo Diana. 
You don't have to say can't say it on stream? <laughs> what, am I just supposed to not say anything? Just stop talking mid-sentence? No, bro. Wait, Mob, do you actually- Were you serious when you said you like my stream more than Hums? I teared up, low-key. Bro, I'm gonna die, IRL, I swear to god. What's up, Corpsey? I'm telling Hums? Bro, I don't have a preference. What? I said I was your second favorite streamer. And just lying out here. That's skill based? Lissandra plus skill? Haha. <laughs> no, this, this lane's really good for Yasuo, actually. It's very, very good. Especially since you went TP. After level 3, we just smash. Alright, we gotta wait for that. Yo, Corpsey, do you have any knowledge about hernias, by the way? I will not forget who I Did you know I have one? Smoge. It's a smoger, it's a smoger. Yeah, we're not gonna do anything until level 3. It's lame, obviously. You gotta just get Witch Tree Hazel, but they soothe it? What does that mean? What did you just type? What is that? I don't even know what that is. That's a Witch spell. Okay, yeah, we, we start playing the game now. Oh, I stopped it. Oh, she's smurfing actually. Is she dead to that? I think so. Well, she kind of got shit on, I won't lie. Yeah, as I said, like, level 3? She completely smashed this lane. Go to Stranger Things world to get it. Wait, what is this? Her, her, her Morphodol pads with Witch Hazel. What the fuck is that? What does that mean? I don't like the sound of that. It sounds like hemorrhoids. An enemy has been slain. What do they do? It's like smoothing? I don't know, I'm in like an awkward phase where like I can't work out, but like I don't want to get surgery on it because like there's no pain. It's just like weird feel like just like a lot of spasms in that area. But it's no pain, so like I don't want to get surgery because it's like no for a long road. Also, this is supposed to be educational. My bad, my bad. I'm kind of just talking about my IRL issues. Oh, you're talking hemorrhoid? No, I said hernia, bro. The hell? Sonic robot? Good. Yo, if they don't die, that's huge. Wow, they actually lived. Well, okay, this is a common tactic that mid laners do. After they get solo killed one time, they just push the wave and then just like do an RNG room because they're tilted out of their minds. And then she died. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, she is just mentally gone from the game now. Somehow I in ended up with into crow's disease and inflammation. Yeah, it's kind of scary when like they diagnose you incorrectly. How do they diagnose that wrong though? Like, didn't they do like an ultrasound and like they were to see it? Like how would they do that wrong? Yeah, um, that's really good. Like we are very, very, very ahead now after that solo kill. Yeah, basically we just played safe to level three, and then Yasuo is the strongest level three champ in the game, or he's up there. He's definitely like top three like best level three champs in the game in this mid lane. So yeah, we just took the two advantage, we got a solo kill, and yeah, we just get a huge lead now. Now we just honestly we just keep freezing. We keep freezing because she's not strong enough to roam, and we could solo kill her very, very easily. So I'm gonna try to get to mid wave and just freeze it. So far ahead. 
Oh, she thinks that's pushing in? Nope. She's trolling for that, actually. Instead of letting it push in, it push in, freeze it. Like, wave is just like in such a good spot for us now. I should put a pick there, because I'm gonna. It's a good board when you're freezing. They don't clear it very easily. Oh! Well, this happens. I mean, we got their jungle to like be here. I'm wasting a lot of time. Basically, just like be as annoying as possible with freezing. It's just, it's so annoying for people, and like they're just gonna like die because of it. Hemorrhoids are an outside hernia, right? Really? For that. Nebula. Never Looking at surgery? Well, I, I don't know, like, every doctor that I've talked to, like, told, like, told me that I, like, I shouldn't do that. I mean, instead of just, like, wait for it to get better on its own first. I haven't beat this guy. Oh my god, I just have to wash away. Surely I win this, right? Oh, he's ulti. Did I kill her? Interesting. Oh, at least we got one kill out of that. God damn, Lissandra's annoying. Yeah, I just follow the room there because, um... I'm there first, so it should be pretty free. And Lasagna's really weak, so I'm not really scared for following me to kill me. If the health was different, I would not go for that fight, but it was pretty guaranteed that I never die there. This one, Yon versus Talia. Uh, try to bait out her E and don't go in until her E is out. Because if you're Eing and that's just E's, you can't third Q. Azakana were nothing but children's <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just keep it easy. I don't know. I'll decide in like a couple weeks. Like a week or two, max. If I'm still having like this like weird ass feeling, obviously I'm not I don't want to live with this like weird ass feeling forever, right? So if it doesn't like go away or like fix on its own in like a week or two, then yeah, I'll just get the surgery. Smooth that's scary dude, surgery's scary though. That shit's scary, bro. I piss myself. Good job. Wait, it's Loki. Oh, the double flash at least. I'm gonna yoink his wraith because he just died. Probably looked to run bot, honestly. They're really overextended. Kind of hard though. I don't really want to go in there. I want to like roam my jungler, or we should just play for Rift. Playing for Rift is like the best case scenario right now. It's very like risk free. Oh god, a bolt. Thank you, Sven. Thank you for the hundred uh hundred bits. Thank you, appreciate that. I'm just gonna ping Herald. I'm gonna keep pushing and like get prior and we should just play for Herald. Because Lissandra's so weak, we always win the fight. Like don't type to your jungler on what to do, but like just ping and like try to gaslight them into doing things if that makes sense.
Bro. Oh, okay, my giant. Okay. This fucking TF play looking at us. Jesus. Worth that, actually. Well, Sandra could be coming. I can't really help. No, she's mid. I'm just gonna do Herald myself, because I want to get this Herald done. I was away for this mid, but I mean, it's worth it for sure. Always make sure, like, ping when things are happening to you. Because, like, it's your job to say, like, where your laner is. Okay, he's not going mid. Even if you, like, don't think he's roaming, just do it just in case. It's worth it. Alright, we can probably use this to get mid tower. Oh, that champion is so hard to kill. I'm assuming Viego's here since she played it like that. She played really aggressive for a second. I'm gonna get my back off, get new cover real fast, so I'm really strong. Viego's here. Nice, right, so you get first blood tower. Your team has destroyed a turret. Maybe the best dreams for Yasuo and Musaku build. Um, Shilbo Ai, Dust Dance. Probably just drop it mid right now. Yeah, there's no one here. Should be able to get the whole tower here. What the hell? Oh, such scary. <laughs> okay. Well, that's easy enough. It didn't look that cool because I didn't ult, but I knew I didn't have to ult. No point of wasting it. Yeah, I think we didn't even need the also ult, man. <clears throat> you are the best Yasuo Yon from YouTube, question mark. Unsubbed on YouTube, fucking noob. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, sorry man. No, I didn't respond instantaneously to your message. I apologize. I'm for this is probably not the play, huh? Oh my god, you stopwatch. Yeah, but how broken is my character? But I try to do a funny spinny play for the chat. Dude, I swear being mechanical is not the play. It's not the wave. It's not the wave. Dude! My champ is fucking cock and balls. I thought. I was doing the spinny blade. Chill, Dova. <laughs> God damn it. You're Beyblading for what? Because chat loves Beyblades, man. I had to. The funny spinny blade. God fucking damn it. I will not forget well, who I am. fine. Yeah, you're just OP. Unsubbed from YouTube. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, I should be splitting though. I really should not be bot. Should be top. Did I even get an ult? Yo, drop the ego and ult! What the hell? How broken is Mundo? I was getting fisted. I wanna go for uh, Tarik. No shot he lives. My champ doesn't fucking do damage! Wait, never mind, he's actually OP. Nice. I cannot believe this is a master game, by the way. It feels so easy. Oh, oh Dark Lord. Rats. We should back up. There's no point in going for this. Already got what we came for. Came for. 
I don't really want to back until I have enough for IE though. His wolf should be up, right? Yeah. Watching chemistry, what the fuck? My chance piss useless. What the fuck is broken? I need one more wave. We're scuttle. Let's scuttle. Ah, huge. 60 minutes. We have IE, Shilbo, and Zeal. My god. You're kind of massive. Yeah, this game was kind of just like secured just by like getting one. It's like one solo kill into her inting into bot lane, which like obviously like that's not us playing well. She just like inted. But after that happens, like you should be able to 1v9. Like you should win the game always. Like there should be no like, oh, my team's inting. No, man. You get a solo kill into your team. Your mid laner fucking inting, you should carry the game. You do the blast kit, blast cone blade. You can't do that by yourself. If I lose this one to one, Mundo's the best champ in the game. I don't care. Oh shit. No man, my ch my champ sucks, cock. Damn, I even got two autos off before I ulted there. So like, this is why you can never call Yasuo broken, because I am 8-1, and one, and I still can't 2v1 that. Same. Well, to be fair, this guy has the same amount of kills. I did not know he was that fed. Eh. Never mind. It makes sense. He's equally as fed as me. Kind of. I have a lot more farm, but... And never mind, Yasuo's broken. What the fuck? That guy had Red Smite, Ninja Tabby, Bork, Divine. And I still 2v1. Can you do it with QSS? No, you can't. I tried it. I think you could have done it like one patch, but they like fixed it for some reason. No one is promised tomorrow. Also, Mundo getting my shutdown is really fine. Also, if you guys are ever wondering, like, where, what lane I go to, it's always the lane that is nearest to the objective that is up. Because I don't have TP, right? So, more or less, the fight should be around the objective, so... Yeah, that's why I go top lane here, because Herald's up, when Dragon comes up, and you go bot lane. Always just want to match the objective, because you do not have teleport. And if you're a top laner, then you do the reverse, you, like, go on the opposite side, usually. Well, this is not a top lane stream, so. Shut down. The easy part. I'm coming, team. Oh. Okay, good. Disengage. You wait for Diana. Diana doesn't have ult here, Tim. I think we still win, though. Charge! Go! Whatever. I got Zone Splash. I got Herald too. And this is why we did the Herald immediately. For this play, now we hit the mid tower. We can just walk in. Huh. That poor Mundo. <laughs> Ooh. If we get one more. We got you in the game here. No, it died mid fucking. God damn it. Low key, that's because of me. If I didn't put it in tower range and make it take three free shots, we get a tower there. But it's okay. Fine. A tower doesn't really do anything anyway. It's just extra gold. Now we go for the dragon over here. Free little dragon. That game should be pretty much over. Love you. Think Yasuo. Okay, well, to be fair, I think Yasuo is pretty broken when you pair it with Diana. Like that shit's not balanced. But yeah, there's no shot that this champ can ever be considered broken. Yone, on the other hand, yes. When people say Yone is broken, I can understand it. But Yasuo, no, no shot. Even with Diana, like no, he's not. 
Maybe I'm delusional, but like, I don't think so. His win rate is also pretty ass. Never could stay in one place. I think Gutsch has to be really good at the game to play also. It's like he's really mechanically intensive, but not only that, but with Lethal Tempo, you have to play early game really well. If you fuck up one time, you don't scale and you just lose. Oh, and they surrender. Nice. Easy game. It's one of my game. I think you can do it if you really want, but... I mean, they're nerfing it next patch, so why go Sunfire when they're hard nerfing it, you know? It is pretty gutted. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna be very educational this game because it's going into the Yasuo... I guess Diamond video. Hopefully, as long as it's a good game. I think we're against Fizz. I really doubt that it's Fizz top, so... This matchup is, um... A lot of people complain about this matchup, actually. I don't think it's too bad. I don't think it's too bad at all. But I went health runes just because they have a... This is mixed damage. A lot of AD and AP. This is mostly AP, but... Yeah, you, you also definitely shits on Fizz early game, so... I guess like assassins like this, you need to like take over the early game. Very hard. And if you end up dying once to an assassin lane, especially when you have tempo, it's just... It's over. So they have a Jax jungle, that is interesting. Haven't really seen that in a while. Jax is really good to our comp, but I don't think Jax jungle is very good. Do I read the JJK manga? I do not. I don't read manga. I mean, I have nothing against it. I fucking, Well, I got a spoiler in that anime. I'm not going to say it, but let's just say it's like one of the worst spoilers I could have got. But obviously don't say anything. You know it. But uh, no, I don't read manga. I just watched it when it comes out. I don't know, it just feels better that way. I like seeing anime for the first time in animation, rather than, like, reading it. Nothing wrong with, like, a manga, though. Yo, every single Fizz skin always has that skin. Probably start E. Feed the catfish. <clears throat> yeah, any CS that he tries to go for, we always want to punish it. We are a lot stronger level 1. Okay, like this? Not allowed. Did a good trade on him. He has more sustain in this, but it should be okay. Yeah, I pushed this lane a little too fast. It'd be better to cheat a recall, but... Really fine. Oh, he already cleared my ward. What the hell? He's just like sitting in the bush. At least. I mean, that's fine. He lost a lot of CS trading with me like that. But although these trades like aren't too good, honestly. He could call in me soon. Also, we're not gonna level up Windwall here because Windwall doesn't do anything against Fizz. We're really stuck? Yeah. I mean, I don't mind it too much. Honestly, the trades that I've been taking with him aren't the best because he has a lot more sustain on me. Well, like in the long term, I am more sustain. But yeah, he has potions. We're just gonna let it push for now. Usually in lanes like this, you only want to like take trades if you're gonna go for the all-in. Just because like, yeah, he has a lot more sustain than us. But it's kind of weird because like, that trade should be good for us, but it's not just because of that. Like this lane... Should be perfectly okay though. As long as you don't die to Fizz, like even going even against an assassin is like really good. Because like Fizz's job is to snowball. If he's not snowballing, he's not doing his job. So keep in mind with that. Fuck uh, man. I'll see you win this, right? Okay, that's good. I think I ignited a little early, but I didn't want to like get ignited first and like potentially lose that fight. That's perfectly okay as long as I don't die here. My Q doesn't go off! Of no shots. God, oh, I got flashed on my Jax. Damn. Aw, oh, man. That's so unlucky. He had 1 HP even from the minion. Aw, oh, man. That Jax was so clutch. That is so fucking cringe. Oh, Venus. Venus, don't be hate watching too. Don't be hate watching. Fuck, man. 
I mean, I don't even think I played that, like, incorrectly. I think I did, like, everything right there, but I'm just kind of unlucky. <clears throat> Steven's would have the biggest grin on his face watching that. Fuck, man. Okay. Dude, he just talks about how bad Yasuo is, like, Perma. I'm just like, I kind of agree. The champ's ass. Early game, at least. It's okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. Um, he has no flash. I want to, like, try to freeze it, and we just, like, kill him that way. Did Nader run out? No, just an animation. You have tips for Young versus Trinomiri. Uh, you just have that kite and space really well in that matchup, or you just die. Also, don't fight him level 1. If you fight him level 1, you're just coin flipping. If he crits a lot, you lose, and then you get snowballed on. If not, then you win, but it's kind of a coin flip. Wouldn't really fight level 1. Yeah, hopefully our jungler comes, because it's pushing to us and he has no flash. Spam ping, laner's flash. God, he's already 6. It's a fucking doomer. Actually, low key? Fine. I'm gonna kill this guy, bro. Okay, we use the minions. This guy's trolling. Aw, can't get him. Okay, well, that was good. Not bad. Go played it. Ray's kind of. Fucked a little bit. I think he's just gonna push it though. If he eats this wave, I'll stay. If not, I'll just back. Oh, he eats it, yeah. Wait. Hopefully, our jungler does what? Wait, what did I say? What did I even. I don't even know. Okay, well, we covered it a little bit. I'm not gonna hard push this. Actually. I'm Yasuo. Yasuo, like, it's actually really good just for this reason. You can hard push waves even if they're cannon waves. It's worth it. Most champions cannot do this. Sleep is for the guiltless. <clears throat> What's up, N1? This one my third promo road to gold. Nice. Huge. Got this. Pushing that wave gives them an extra longsword. It's pretty good. I would go Mantle in this matchup if they had like AP jungle, but they don't have AP jungle. Well, I mean, he kind of does AP damage, I guess. It wouldn't be terrible, but... Is the only purpose to fall? That's another thing. Like, if you are playing matchups where you struggle in a lot, like mental block, just build defensive. Like, it's not bad. I mean, the back, bro. We'll get this free kills. As long as he's not gonna free kills, we're chillin'. Kill me. Wave state's really good for me. He went top? Oh. Nice, he lives. My bad, I thought he would definitely go bot lane there, not top. Yeah, the reason we freeze this is because he misses this whole wave now, and the wave is just in a really good spot. And we don't have flash, so... Especially in melee versus melee lanes, you want to, like, always perma-freeze. Because <clears throat> if you're on their side with no flash, you're probably just gonna die. Oh, this guy's trolling so hard. Nice. As soon as I see that his E runs out, I'm just like, okay, well, I'm not scared at all. Oh, if I land that, he dies. Fuck, man. Oh my god, he has some fucking flash. Oh? Oh, the level up. Shots, man. Damn, it kind of sucks. I use my ignite now, and now Fizz is gonna have ignite advantage. Not the best. It was good to go for, though. Maybe if I just, like, try to auto instead of, um... Go for the, um, what's it called? Q. <clears throat> also, it's really important to, like, always ignite last. Ooh, Fizz probably gets free kills here. 
Because whenever you ignite someone, they like shit their pants and they always flash away. So, always try to like save it for like the last thing. Don't die, Seraphine. Okay. Nice. Yeah, this fizz is tilted up his mind. <laughs> we get Harold off that too. Very good. Like me going for Jax there pretty much guarantees that we get Rifts. Unless he uses Smite. I think he just kills him now. No, he steals it. Uh, for shots. Oh, that's not really on us. We did everything we could. Wait for ground for the plating. I'm not really sure how he lost that, but um, it's fine. Don't worry about it. This is a good vision to get because we want to play towards bot lane. I think I don't think we want to really play towards top. Well, top is winning. Oh, never mind. He just cleared it immediately. Actually, yeah, they have a more room support. They don't really have room support, so that ward is actually not good. It's a lot better to put it in the bush below. Don't really want to play aggressive. Jax recalling by play aggressive and Jax is here. I have to flash away, so I think it's pushing me. I don't have to do anything. I will not this guy's trolling, man. Oh my god. Like, as soon as he uses E, he is just doomed, man. Especially if he's not in a minion wave. This is kind of like really reliant on minion waves. I like Yasuo. Also, we're not going Zeal this game because I think against Assassins it's not really that good to go. It's a lot better to just rush shield bow with the uh, shield. Because if they're not one shotting you, you are winning. We're back off now. Yeah, as you can see, I don't really roam on Yasuo. Yasuo's not really a roam champion. Obviously, there's like times when you want to roam with your jungler. He wants to, but... It's not really guaranteed a lot of the times. Especially if you're not in comms. So, it's a lot better to play for lane. Flash on A monkey behavior, what the hell? It's fucked up. The play. What's the elo? It's like D1. Kobe to a hernia, I've been going through it. Yeah, I mean, it's been rough. It's been rough, but we're getting through it. Oh, if that hits, take that, I think. Oh, he has me again. I am dead, actually. Nah, I trolled that so hard. I should have killed him. I did not think he had E again. I don't know why. Oh, man. That's not worth it at all. And I wasted flash. Fuck, man. Are they in the Q? I don't know how I missed the Q. Well, at least we got Shilbo off that, but he probably gets Ludens off that, so. Definitely not worth the trade. That's my bad. I think the intention for that play was good, though. Because if I kill him there, I get the full on tower. But, yeah. The hell? It's everything the 2v1. Beast. One step ahead of the past. Yeah, the hernia should be fine. I've been talking to like a PT about it and he said like Um, you should just like go away by itself. As long as you just give it rest, so yeah, do that. I will not need surgery. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about that much today. But, yeah. Get my mind off it. I have ulti now. Uh, we definitely went 2v2. Two two. Oh my god, he had no vision. Been an ult. Um, they can't kill me here. Nice, huge. Nice. Yeah, man, I'm not really scared of Rakan Fizz. And that is why, why you rush Shilbo, by the way. If I went Zeal this game, I wouldn't have Shilbo there, and I just die. So. Against, like, really high burst assassins, I think skipping Zeal is uh, actually very good.
We get first blood tower off that too. Probably GG off that, honestly. Huge. Yeah, we're just gonna go Shivo, IE, Death Dance. We skip Zeal. Oh, this doesn't look the best. Dude, I don't think Nila's very good. I think that check actually kinda sucks. Maybe. I can't tell. Oh, I think she's just a scaling champ, that's why. Smooch. The rusty. Pretty good. Hopefully gonna have like a long stream today. That's what I'm planning on. As long as my pain is not too bad today. For the guiltless. Yeah, she's probably if she's a scaler, then we just win this game. Our team comp scales insanely hard. And Fizz from behind is just awful, man. Okay, now we're just looking to play for like side lanes. We just want to hard push mid over and over again and just look for either play for top or bot, because like both of them are really strong right now. Honestly, playing for Herald right now would be pretty good. Just because we win the 3v3 really hard, they can't really contest it. The Herald is a lot more important than Dragon. I don't really want to go on this guy. What is this guy doing? I don't have flash? Fuck me, man. I guess I should've just went on the Aatrox there. He still should die, though. Nice. With the Herald, and now we get into Dragon. Yeah, see, we just, like, do the objective. They just want to fight because, um, illness, and they're just like, oh shit, objective, I have to fight for it. And they, we never lose that fight. I didn't even play it that well, and we still just win, so. Force a fight, get free kills. That's why chasing kills is so bad, because if you just go for objectives, either they don't contest and you get a free objective, or they do contest, and you just get free kills along with it, so. That's good. I want to be bot lane right now. It, my bot lane should be mid. We just go for- I mean, I don't like this fight, we're not really fighting for anything. What the hell? Wow, that actually hits the shots. Oh, so every kind of got shit on. Uh, we still win this. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. No, man. Fuck, I must nerf that. Yeah, like, as I said, like, before this fight even happened, what are we fighting for? We're not really fighting for anything. Oh, are we smurfing it? I mean, it's still fine, because we're getting a lot top. But, yeah, four of us died for no reason. There's no point of fighting that, but... If I played it better, we could have won it. It's still a really good trade. He got, what, three towers? Or two? They get IE off it. It's fine, but, like, it's not a play that, like, you want to go for, if that makes sense. Nila, Diana, Yasuo would be a good comp? Yeah. I think with AoE knockups is really good. The bother. We had a better Yon skin equipped in. Yeah, that's getting kinda ass. Okay. <clears throat> but like when an enemy is so far behind, they want those four kills. Like those four kills can actually like put them back into the game, you know? But that play isn't good to go for. But obviously, I'm, if like we're gonna engage that hard, I'm gonna like fight it out. I'm not just gonna be like, oh, gonna let my whole team die because it's a bad play. Like, no, you don't want to do that. No way, Fizz keeps pushing. He does not win. 
Okay, now we just want to be in the side lane. Want to get pressure, get solo experience, miss every cannon because that's what we do. Even if he lands fish, I don't think he one shots. There's no flash. Oh, hang on the Kaiser. Yeah, basically we just want to push waves. If Fizz wants to fight us, we want to play it. Oh, damn that hits, but he has Arnius. I lose my shield, but that's fine. I was a stopwatch, and now we want to go mid. We have red buff too, so it's basically a war mogs. Not like our team needs us. But... Oh my god, this Yon! My god. Yeah, but now we're just playing the Baron, and game's over. Game is over. Yeah, I really don't like. Um, I don't hate assassin matchups. I mean, I kind of like them because if you're not dying to assassins 24/7, you're winning really hard. And people don't really realize that. Like, yeah, Fizz early game is like kind of annoying, but he's not killing you. You're just winning. So, a lot of people have the bad mindset. It's like, oh, if I'm not getting kills, I'm not. I'm not carrying, and I'm not doing anything. It's like, no. Sometimes your job, especially in a matchup where it's not good early, just to not die. If you're not dying, you're winning. But that's why, like, every matchup, your uh, win con is different. Against assassins, you want to, like, shut them down early and not die. It's like, building defensive is really good. Versus, like, if you're against a Seraphim mid, obviously building defensive is awful. Because you want to kill her, like, 30 times. Because if you don't do anything, she's going to outscale you. Probably lose the game. Also, my Nila built Storm Razor. What? That cannot be good. That sounds ass. The road to ruin. I'm not a fan of that one. Sleep is for the guiltless. Too scared. Oh, blast cone map. I hate the blast cone map. I'm just not a fan of blast cones. I think they're kind of stupid. So right now to build our lead even more. I'm just gonna always take enemy jungle. It's really good. Um, team's fighting, but I kind of need to push this for. They don't really need me. There's like no threat of them dying. So. Getting the second wave push. There's a lot of time. Go bot. Once my team dies, which hopefully they don't. I'm just going for the objectives, so I think they're fine without me. Oh, not really ideal. I guess you could argue like I should be mid there, but like not really. I shouldn't really be mid there. My team shouldn't fight. Perfectly okay though. Like I'm just. If you like look at my gameplay, I don't really play off like my teammates like doing the wrong play. I kind of just like. Play for objective. We can win this for sure. He's dead, he's dead. What? I didn't get either kill? Smooth. Because, like, okay, let's say I group for this mid play and somehow we lose it. Then we just lose everything. Whereas if I don't help, I'm getting their blue buff, their grump, this tower. A wave and the dragon. It's like I'm not saying just to like abandon your team, but if they're doing a play that's like so coin flippy, it's just not worth going. You no. Know? It should be pretty GG. Your items can't really die anymore. Follow the wind, but watch your back. I mean, no bitches. What? So speak for yourself, bro. An ally has been slain. Attack must have one hell of a gaming chair. What does that mean? <clears throat> I mean, if your team just like keeps wanting to ARAM, then like you may as well ARAM, but just make sure you have like your spikes first. Don't just like force it. But yeah, they're kind of just like ARAM to the max, so when I'm down just to go mid. I mean, it works. Enjoy. 
<clears throat> you're uh, proje projecting a little bit, June. It's okay, though. Fine. It happens. It happens, brother. It is what it is. There's still two top chasing Zack. Yeah, we can just end. Interesting. I don't really have to be scared, I think. She still has ulti after all that time? Oh, shots. Whatever. I think I should have played front to back there, but I mean, if I'm getting a two man ult like that, I think it's worth going for that. Did not think she had ulti after like a team fight plus getting chased top lane. Yeah, this is why I don't like ARAM. This game should be over by now, but like, it's completely okay. Just gotta not, not worry about it. This is fine to like, go for even trades, because we outscale anyway. If, if they outscale us, these trades would be fucking terrible. But since we outscale them, it doesn't really matter. Like, the game should just be over regardless of what we do. But yeah. This guy went Kraken Slayer Borkion? What? Oh, shots. Oh, i building that. <clears throat> What's up, Viking? You got notified? Got no notification on what Discord or uh, Twitch? No one is <laughs> I am Smoge. Smoge. Happens. I don't know how Twitch notification even works. Wait, do people actually like go to the stream from Twitch notification? Also, apparently on my stream, I had this thing that like you can only type in my stream if you got a verified uh, phone number. Or verified email, I think. So we took that off. I hope that, like, didn't, like, scare off potential viewers. Because I don't know, like, how many people verify their email. The sword yeah, I took that shit off. For a long road. Did not know I had it enabled for this long. What's up, lag? I hope you're doing well, Viking. Yeah, we can just force bait. Yeah, as you can see, like... Sometimes you do have to like just play incorrectly, just to, like play with your team. Because if they're just gonna air ram and you're just like splitting all all the time, it's like the only way you could lose. Only way to lose this game. It, it, okay, well, they stole Baron now too. I'll do that. It's a little fresh. Like, you can't see. That's why Lee is very annoying. Because even if you learn how to play the game, like for example, I know someone who's like silver who like knows. Go HR. It's still perfectly fine. Just be out skip. I know someone who's like silver who like macro is actually like really good. Like he knows what to do, but it doesn't matter. Like having good macro and silver doesn't matter. Because people won't play correctly anyway. Oh shit, we're gonna recall on. Look at his tower. Nice. Okay, that was a lot harder than it had to be, but yeah. 